there, everybody. This is Austin, the best second for antiques channel. You know, I, <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm the best or anything. It is what it is. All right, let's just start, man. This is the smallest little Havland uh, Limoges dish. H&Co L, so that's the L for Limoges. And uh, I forget what that dates it to, but... It's a, it's a pretty old little dish. I think uh, right around 1900, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to set that there because we've got a few little ceramic pieces. Um, this one just says foreign. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. So today, we were driving around. We, we had to go and grab some stuff from our uh, big collection that we bought. And... Um, as we were driving down there, we literally had six dollars in our pockets, and uh, ah, and we saw a garage sale. We had already talked. I mean, we can't afford to go to a garage sale right now. We literally, I'm not kidding, had six dollars in our pockets. So we went to this garage sale <laughs> with our last six dollars, and we um we made a pile after we were like, hey, you take a check. And they were like, yeah, we'll take a check, you idiot. <laughs> so, so we built up a pile, and we were kind of expecting, like, the amount of things that we were getting to add up to, like, $50. There was a sign out front. You know, we stopped at this garage sale because it was huge. Uh, there was, like, two uh, pop-up tent things, and... Um, just a ton of stuff everywhere. I don't know if you've noticed. Maybe you have. Um, there's a Moon and Star uh, bull pedestal candy dish right here. And there's a uh, Moon and Star uh, lidded pedestal candy dish back here. Uh, both in Amberina. This one has its sticker taped inside of it. And this one still has its tag. So yeah. Those are part of the $20 we spent. So is this magnificent Royal Hagar vase. Here's the Hagar, Hagar sticker. I always say Hagar, like Hagar the Horrible. Um, and then on the bottom you can see Royal Hagar, the model number and such. So yeah, um, intermixed with a little bit of this, uh, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Let's see. So I grabbed a box of glass, and there were just some little pieces in there that were pretty. And I was like, you know, I, I'll just ask him how much for the whole box. So we built up our little pile. I got some sewing stuff that's pretty well unrelated to, uh, to any of this that we do on the channel here. <clears throat> um, I mean, I guess some of you probably like that, right? I guess it's all right. Um, Imperial glass mark on the bottom. Can you see it? And that is a beautiful piece. Oh, <laughs> this triangular thing. I guess I should talk to you about this. Because it weighs like five pounds. It's super thick. Uh, it's crazy looking, obviously. And uh, yeah, I don't know. If, if I had to just like, you know, somebody was like, I'm going to do something bad to everyone you know. If you don't tell me who made this, I'd be like, uh, maybe Murano? <laughs> they'd be like, all right, you're dumb, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you go this time. I uh, bought this one. I didn't see that it had a big crack in it. It does. It does have a big crack in it. But again, um, I'm, you're, you're seeing all the pieces I'm pulling out here. And uh, this is still, we're, we're at $20. Fenton... Fenton candle holders. Yeah, I guess they're all right. I mean, whatever. Whatever, dude. Um, you're gonna be mad when you see how long this keeps going. I really don't know what's in these boxes entirely because I was just like, ooh, box, yeah, put it in the pile. See what they want for a box. And it, oh yeah, the sign. The sign out front of this place it said, name your price. Now, 
Now, I would never offer $20 for all this stuff, but I did ask them what they wanted for all this stuff, and they were like $20, and I was like, yeah, probably, probably go ahead and do that. You got the dome of an Amberina Moon and Star Fairy Lamp. It does have a crack in it. So, I mean, you know, I, I saw this was cracked, and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to grab that anyway. And I just put it in my box, and they were like $20, and I was like, okay. Okay, then, we'll make a deal on that. How about it, then, friend? This isn't the bottom of that, is it? That'd just be silly, right? Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense, Austin. Come on, get a grip. Get a grip, bud. Um, yeah, I don't... Jeez, I'm craw. He's a yellow whale. He's just a boy. Very clear bottom with a ponto mark. So somebody made him and cared about him enough to polish the bottom. That is a thing you want to see. I mean, if it's uh, if it's going to be Murano, it's probably, almost always, going to have a uh, polished bottom. I really, like, I don't know, I <laughs> don't know what all's in here. I'm not kidding. We're seeing this together for the first time. Um... Let me try and make some room for everybody. I might even have to uh, split this video up and then put everything back and then keep taking stuff out. Another piece of moon and star. That one's an amber. Um, I mean, I guess this sort of thing's like okay. I mean, maybe you're into it. Which I'm totally not. I mean, except for how much I love it. Except for how cool it is. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, <laughs> what's stopping you from having that on your shelf? I mean, you go to any thrift store in the world, maybe five bucks. Maybe five bucks. I mean, granted, you gotta find it first, but but seriously, I mean, that's not... The world's not keeping you away from that. Perfect. Perfect. For the tiniest punch bowl. Oh my goodness! Let's have a mouse punch party. Oh my goodness! That's punch like the beverage. I, I don't want to... I don't want to do that to mice. I don't know what that says. Something. It's It's got a windmill on it. The Hague? Maybe. It's a tiny little bottle and I thought it was cute. Let's see what else we got in this box. Come on, everybody. That must have just slipped in there. I, uh... I probably wouldn't have picked that on my own, if I'm honest. It's a thing. And it's ours now. Well, in Nesco, Japan. I mean, I'll take a piece of Japanese glass any day. Did you know that the Japanese... Oh, actually, that'll help me identify something else I have, I think. I think I recognize those feet for no good reason. Hmm... Who does that belong to? Who does number two work for? Who have I seen those feet on before? Hmm. I'm gonna have to try and think of that. If anybody uh, remembers what I've shown you before that had those same feet, let me know. It had color, if I remember right. Just, just a tiny little decanter. I mean, I'm sure it, you wouldn't really call it a decanter. I don't know. I don't know what it would be, friends. You'd have to tell me on that one. Is it a perfume bottle? Oh my god, there's another thing at the bottom of this box. Uh, does that mean there's stuff buried in these peanuts? Uh, does that mean, does that mean that I've got the whole thing? It does. It does mean that, everybody. Congratulations, Austin. You deserve it. <laughs> Good work, buddy. I honestly, honest, 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 had no idea the bottom of that was in there. So, I mean, really, I'm pretty jazzed about that. Okay. What do you say we keep going? I mean, should we keep going? Is this crass? Are we at the point now where I should just stop out of good taste? I mean, I should probably stop talking out of good taste. <laughs> ah, self burn. Those are rare. That's a rare kind of burn. Um, hold on. I'm looking for a place that I can safely set things 
so they don't break on any other things. Okay, giving us more room. I'm gonna set that right down there in a little safe space. Um, okay, uh, we're just gonna keep going. I mean, <laughs> All right, I'm sure this is Nippon or made in Japan actually, I don't know. I don't know when that will be from. Again, this this pile <laughs> and everything I've already put back into containers. Oh, you know, we got something else that's made in Japan. I guess it's kind of neat. I mean, I guess it's kind of pretty compared to like, you know, anything in the world. Any, any type of thing ever made by anyone. So yeah, gold enameled. Um, I just got a I just got a little piece that matches this. You can tell by the green inside the gold and stuff. And yeah, I've only ever seen tiny pieces of that, and I found that today, and I was like, wow! Otherwise, I must have like five or six um, little white and gold enameled pieces like that. I'm going to say this is probably Jeanette. beautiful carnival glass and it came with its big brother yeah that's right yeah you didn't see that coming did you plot twist Bar you guys ever seen that movie storks where they're like Bong. you know if I'm the only one that watches animated films then you know a pox on you <laughs> I've recently shown you a uh, wider, shallower one of these. I'm sure that's going to be like Fenton or someone like that. Someone respectable. Someone with morals and integrity. Um, are they supposed to be purple? I don't know. Is, are, you, are you supposed to be purple? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Does anyone even like purple glass? Why'd I buy this? God. Why would I do such a thing? Oh my goodness. Austin. Austin, when are you going to learn your lesson? Nobody likes purple nothing. As much as they don't like any clear glass at all. None of it. Oh, I wish I could find a cool piece of clear glass. I mean... Every once in a while, you know, you go out hunting and you're just like, man, you know, you know what I've never seen? I've never seen a cool piece of clear glass. And, and you know, I'll just keep looking for one. I'll keep trying to see if I, keep trying to see if I see anybody out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wish I could show you something cool. Um, gosh, what else do we got here? We've got... Were you guys wondering at all if I had pants on there? Joke's on you. I never have pants on. <laughs> That's not true, I swear. Gotta put them on to go to other people's houses for garage sales, don't you? Dang shame is what that is. So this is a pretty cool dish. Um, you know, I mean, if I had to guess. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, and this little fella, I thought he was kind of cool looking, and I thought maybe so. So those are both uranium glass, and uh, oh, you know, I did grab this green one. I grabbed this green one from my uh, big collection that I bought. That's my fault. I didn't mean to mix them up. Oh, but here we are. I just had a wet wipe for some glass, and if you give me two shakes of a lamb's tail here, <laughs> uh... I talk funny. Give me two shakes of a lamb's tail here. I'll show you how that's supposed to look. And isn't that gorgeous? Let's uh, let's focus our beam. You see that in the uh, the cadmium in the moon and star piece? So yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Pretty good haul for $20. Um, yeah, the pedestal lidded candy dish, I mean, those 
those will sell for $45 instantly because that's cheaper than anyone else has them. Um, this Hager vase? Man. Man. I mean, not a crazy amount of money, but people are going to want that because it's, it's just ridiculously good. I mean, it's super cool. It would look cool amongst any cool collection. So yeah, it almost looks like a uh, treble cleft. Is that, is that the thing I'm thinking of? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what the hell. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Radio edit. I don't know if I'm allowed to say whatever. <laughs> Have a good night. This is Austin, Best Second 40 Antiques channel. And yeah, showing you a $20 haul. I don't know if you can believe that or not.